it's time to say goodbye to the Mirage Casino and Resort. Kind of bummed. This place opened up in the 80s and it really kicked off the idea of massive theme resorts and really, in my opinion, inspired what the South Strip of Las Vegas is today. This place was amazing with its gardens, the dolphin enclosure, the swimming pool, an exploding volcano. In fact, when you come in right inside, you get this beautiful atrium. I mean, it really is something different that will be missed on the Strip. Now, in just a couple weeks, this place is closing, so you can see the slot machines are already being shut down. They'll be closing down the Beatles Love Cirque du Soleil show, which is sad for a lot of people. And just as you go around, you start to see they're getting ready to turn things off. In just a few years, this location will be replaced with a giant guitar. Why? Because it's going to be the new Hard Rock Hotel and casino. We look forward to that. This is our last, this is likely our last visit. Yeah, I don't think we'll be coming back. So we decided that today we're going to get something to eat. We love Mexican food. This is coming out on Taco Tuesday, right? Yeah. Taco yeah. Tuesday for you. So we're going to check out Diablo's. So a lot of things are closing here at the Mirage, but Diablo's Cantina is still open. Now it's not necessarily the cheapest place, but they have other locations. So if you're interested, if you don't make it here to the Mirage before they close, I think they have one at the Luxor, right? I think so. But you know what they do have? 32 ounce beers. Oh yeah, I got a shock top. I don't know, you think I should only get one beer today? Or should I have 64 ounces of beer? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. That is a good beer though. It mm. looks so funny when you're carrying it. Maybe one thing I don't pit. like, is when they throw my orange in the beer. I don't know how many hands. Are you serious? They did that? Yeah. I don't know, like, how many fingers have touched that. Hey, now you have some chips and salsa there. Yeah. Oh, and and I believe it's free chips and salsa because they is. put it on my table and didn't ask. So I'll try the the salsa and see if it's any good. You know. It's pretty good salsa, actually. It's it's got good flavor. The chips are super crunchy. It's kind of a cool place in here. There's all kinds of like it's, art on the walls. It's like Dia de los Muertos. Diablo's the devil. The devil. Yes. Well, it's fitting for me. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I think this is Modelo. Did I get Modelo or Dosecchi? I got Dosecchi's. Modelo tastes the same, honestly. Mm. So, I am like this much irritated right now because we went on their website before coming here. They were supposed to open, I don't know what time, but they were from three to six was happy hour. We got here at 3.15, it was closed till four. We got here at four, they're like, oh, just today, management canceled happy hour. Today. Today. <laughs> and the menu, although it has all these like really classic um, Mexican dishes, it's a, it's a nice menu. They have a great drink menu. They have lots of beers, lots of beer actually to choose from on tap. Um, it's expensive here compared to what we're used to spending now. That being said, we really are trying to get into the spirit of things today because this is probably the last time we're ever, ever going to be at the Mirage, yeah. which actually is bittersweet because we have both good and bad memories at this location. So Amy and I actually had our honeymoon, honeymoon here in Vegas. We did. That was over 25 years ago. And we were poor. We were broke. We came here with like 600 bucks. I don't even think it was that much favor. It was not a lot. And we had to last like several days here. And the first day we were here, we were walking through the Mirage. And I went to put 100 bucks into my fanny pack. Yeah, I said fanny pack. And I must have missed the pocket. And I think it went all the way through and fell on the floor. <laughs> and so when we got to our destination, I was like, where's my money? So we were down like at least a quarter of our money and we had to figure out a way to make it last. I was like, you know what? This town is all about luck. And now I hate the Mirage because I lost <laughs> all this money. And since then, I think in the last 
30 visits or more than we've been out here. I think we've been here, what, once? Maybe maybe twice. We've maybe twice? Through. Yeah. Because it was our bad luck place. Yeah, we'd never come in here. But for some reason, I almost feel kind of bad that it's going away. Don't you? Absolutely. We decided to go with two main courses, and the first one is an enchilada platter. It's going to have beef barbacoa, chicken, the chicken tinga, whatever that is. Am I saying that right? Tinga? <laughs> You're asking <Tinga>? me. <laughs> All right. And shrimp. So I don't have any more information about the sauces on here, but it, those they are look beautiful. really, really good. They really do like a, a lot I on know, their presentation on those, don't they? It comes with a side of a uh, bingu. Bingu and rice. Yeah, with some katiha on it. Uh, let's take a look. I got to get my silverware out. I got my glasses on so I can see my plate. Okay. Ah, uh, let's try this beef. I'm guessing this is the beef. Probably. Usually the, the, red the sauce. barbacoa is red. I'll have some of the, the red. Okay. Dude, that's a massive bite. <laughs> that looks wonderful. Isn't it good? Well, I want to make sure to cut into it so I got some actual beef in the bite. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. I love the sauce on that. It's yeah. so tangy. You guys doing okay? Yeah, doing we're great. doing good. Thank Thanks you. for checking on us. Oh, I really like that red sauce. Let's try a little bit of this. It's going to have the verde. It's going to have the, the verde sauce. The cilantro is just looks like a garnish, but I really want to add some to my bites. Scrape one of them on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, looks like some nice chicken in there. Mm. <laughs> I'm all over. No, no, you're good. You're good. Feels like you're like. You wouldn't tell me if I had it on my face anyway, right? <laughs> Try to get just that chicken. The chicken, the sauce that's, that the chicken is like stewed in is really um, tangy and rich, almost like the red sauce for the beef. Mm. It's a chicken enchilada. Turn this one a little bit. So that's the shrimp right there, right? It must be. I want to try to... Okay, there. I feel a shrimp right there. Yeah, make sure to get a shrimpy in your bite. Yeah, I, I definitely got one. Yeah, look. Ooh, let's just pop a shrimp out of there. Take a look. Mmm. The shrimp has a really great texture to it. It's cooked really beautifully, actually. And sometimes shrimp is like rubbery or... You know, it only takes, what, a minute or two I to know, overcook shrimp. Like, so, so quick. Mm. I would say this is a great variety of enchiladas. Um, I would order this again. I mean, I, I'm really happy. I think, ooh, that shrimp, it's like some heat in it. It's catching up to me. Yeah. Yeah? A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. <laughs> yeah. You gonna try your bingo? I'm going to try the bingo. All right. So it has Looks like a little bit like of Looks just like regular cuisine. refried beans, right? Mm hmm Nothing too special. This rice is like... I mean, I can only compare... The last time we had rice... Remember how dry it was? It was really bad, yeah. Where was that? I don't remember. You know, I'm not a big fan of rice and beans. It always comes with the dish, so there's that. <laughs> so I love this casino for like one primary reason, and that is because I love like the vacation movies. And you know, this I think that was like 1989 that movie came out. No, Vegas Vacation had to have been later. It had to have been while we were dating, so it had to have been mid-90s. We, we saw that movie, we didn't even really like it, and then we came to Vegas for our honeymoon, and then we were like, I love this movie. And I think that they had so much fun in this resort. It's kind of a labyrinth getting around in this place, um, but there's a lot of beautiful spaces. Anyway, that's, for some reason, I, that's why I love this casino. We've watched that movie, what, like, a hundred times or whatever. Too many times. And if you've been here enough times, you can relate to a lot of the things Too that happen times. in that movie. It's so funny.
So we've had birria tacos before, and I always call it wrong. I call it birria, no, whatever. No, birria casa. Casa birria. <laughs> I, I, I've screwed it up so many times. If everybody says, oh my God, you are the whitest guy. You cannot like say anything in Spanish. I know, I know, but I have to say. Birria is a good attempt. Right? Yeah. Right, if it's beer. If it's beer and ia, yeah. I got it, I got it. But these are amazing, look at these. Like normally when I do birria tacos, it's just like the meat and cilantro and onions, and that's it. Those are huge. But look at this, this has the cotija cheese, it's got tomatoes, onions, it's got cilantro. Well, it's, they're just packed, they're it's huge. It's everything. Pick one up and take a bite, tell me what you think. Okay, I, oh, and the, and the, the tortillas feels a little bit crispy too. I think it's like a, yeah, it's a crispy corn. Wow. These look fantastic. Now I'm gonna have to drip this. Look at, look how drippy this is. It's super drippy. So I'm gonna try not to make like a big mess, but I'm probably gonna anyway. Well, All right, here we go. Your plate. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Those are fantastic. Those are they? Are, those are so good. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Is that a great texture? I've had birria in Mexico. I've had it in SoCal. I've had it in you, Arizona. Oh, Yuma. Yeah, Yuma was really Yeah, good. I've had it here in Vegas. I think so far, these are my favorite ones. Now, in Mexico, you know, they have it like goat, lamb, all kinds of stuff, which I'm sure they don't have here, but those are fantastic. And with all these, like, all the fixins on it. I mean, look at this, guys. This is amazing. And look how drippy it is. It's so, like, fresh right out of the consomme. 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 I know, but what is, I'm kind of surprised they don't have you, like, where you can dip it. Well, yeah, I didn't see anything on there where you could order extra consomme. But I have to say, those are good. Those are so good. You want to try some enchiladas? Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is the beef barbacoa. Barbacoa. That looks wonderful. It is, it is really. You know, barbacoa. What is this? Is this like a, like a sour cream? That goes with a different one. Type sauce. No, 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 no. I'm just getting the white stuff. You're crossing over. You're crossing <laughs> the flavor profiles. Ooh, you're, ooh, the camera just did something weird. Okay. All right, let's give that a shot. Isn't that nice? You know, barbacoa hasn't been my favorite, so you I know, really like that You know, that's really one. good. It's not at all hot or spicy. It has a really good flavor. It's really comfortable. Kind of sweet. Yeah. Kind of sweet. That, that sauce. I was raving mm -hmm. about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verde. Now, you said the verde. Is this, is this chicken? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, obviously, when I look at it. Give it a bite. Give it a bite. Ooh. Mm -hmm. My good. Isn't that chicken good? It's not dry at I all. I like that is better it? than the barbacoa. Is it not, the chicken's not dry at all. Not at all. And it no. still has a little <clears throat> bit of sweetness, but it, it's like different. These are super good. Yeah. Now I'm gonna break off a piece of this uh, cilantro here. <clears throat> oh, I'm like cilantro. I'm like I'm, <laughs> I'm like Peter Brady. I'm like, like oh, cracking a, my voice. Oh, when he went through like a puberty. Yeah. And his yeah. Face was well, good. there it is, right there. Hey, I can sing the song from that show. <laughs> when it's time to Okay, let's try this out. You've got to rearrange. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. You're such a nerd. I okay. am a nerd. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the shrimp? The shrimp. Wow. You know, I like all of them. Do you? They're all good. Now, compare those to the Viria tacos, which one? <clears throat> I like the tacos better. Do you really? I think the birria taco. I don't know. I'm a sucker for birria. Well, I want to try the tacos. I always, I always love birria. Now, bingu, I'm not a huge fan of bingu. Um, I like the flavor of it. I just don't like how my stomach feels later, but I will obviously eat all of this. Will you eat it all or just taste it? I will eat it all. Not for everybody to watch, but it will end up gone. In your belly? And I'll do it with a chip. tastes like just like any other bean goo. It's pretty good. The rice is good. I'd say this is probably the least impressive of everything I've eaten today. 
probably, um, but it's still good. And if you like bean goo, you won't be disappointed. Did you add lime to these birria? I did not. Okay, should I do that first? Yeah, go for it. Squeeze it on all of them, because I'm sure Ooh. I'll like it on okay. all of them. Let's do that. I'm gonna use, uh, take a bite of the taco that you already started, yeah, go for is it. that okay? Yeah, right. yeah. Mm, it's so much that I can get right in there. Mm. Oh my God. Isn't that good? Wow. There's a grilled flavor to that that I don't remember having with birria. Oh, I'm so sorry, I was talking with my mouth full. But that meat has like almost a grilled flavor to it. Really yummy. I'm glad you ordered these because I'm gonna eat more than just a bite. Isn't that good? Friends, we're kind of shocked how much we like Diablos, aren't you? It was really good, I mean, actually. I, for, for some place like this, I would think it would be like kind of, you know, well, just plain and not too impressive, but I it was good. I will say it's probably a little overpriced for what we normally do. I mean, we like to go out and find good deals for you guys, but I was so happy that the food tasted good. Now, if you want to try out Diablos at a Luxor, I guess by the time you're watching this video, Mirage is closed, um, check out my Vegas app. Now, that's the little casino game you can play on your phone and earn points to get discounts. Sometimes they have a discount for Diablos at the Luxor, so you can save like 10 or $20. Yeah, so and maybe the one over there will have a happy hour still, too. Maybe, yeah. That was the other thing that kind of miffed me. I'm over it now. A little beer helped. Look, I'm doing really good, though. <laughs> I, this is my first beer. Well, you need, you, need to, you need to start chug-a-lugging, girl. Okay, so um, if you are in Las Vegas before July 17th, 2024, make sure you stop by and say goodbye to the Mirage. Maybe we'll be here long enough tonight to see the explosion, the volcano. The eruption, you mean? Can we just keep drinking beer until 8 p.m.? You know what? Why not? Yeah, like let's, let's go out with a bang. As always, we encourage you, tip your server, reach out to your local food bank, and make sure you're donating to people in your community that are hungry. And as always, until we dine together again, stay classy.